Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Safina Olga and today I want to introduce you our article Optimization of Playful Learning on the Unisphere platform by simulating modeling. First of all, I want to say that the newest approaches to education with common characteristics as precision education require new methods of knowledge presentation. Uh, one of them is in a playful form. So, and uh, first I want to speak about our Unisferm platform, which was specially created for the game play learning and uh, I want to tell several words about its requirements. So, the learning materials created by students and teachers, digital educational products ranging from an application to comprehensive, comprehensive game, platform crown source, sources the best educational content, disciplines, locations, mini games and other game projects, communication block for schools uh, for create projects online, Everyone can contribute games or building blocks for existing games. Information is also custom oriented. The learning path takes into account persons, interests and achievements. And all background to scale up creativity level and balance teams resources. And so the main problem in education is objective assessment of students knowledge and teacher work prediction and control of learning outcomes, and of course, the optimization of all these processes. So, um, let's uh, consider uh, the Unisferm project, project uh, more directly. And first of all, I want to say that using the Unisferm platform is not difficult. After the first login to the platform, the student immediately gets to the page of <coughs> questionnaire where he indicates his interests. In the future, they will be used for the team creation algorithm and the result of such a survey can be seen on the graph which is called rows of interest. Using uh, the interests of users, the basic algorithm of the platform, uh, which again generates teams of eight or nine students, depending on wishes of school management. Uh, on the, the figure presented on this slide uh, shows us a general graph uh, of the occupancy of all teams where each team has separate color. This slide uh, shows us an example of a comment page uh, with uh, the list of participants and the team schedule, where each student has a separate color. And here you can clearly see the list of participants and the team schedule, where each student has a separate color and taking into account such information, the administrator can change participants between different teams and appoint a leader for each of them. After the final formation of the teams, each of them receives tasks divided in the stages of development. Each task can be assigned to individual team members or sold by entire team. And in the task, you can see deadlines and create separate subtasks. You can also switch to simplify type of tasks. And this look is more clear and easier uh, for our students than even for teachers. So let's continue. The graphical report on education groups creation is also presented. This is the color map where the students' skills, interests uh, to subjects uh, presented by a colored bars spectrum in polar coordinates. Uh, the inner cycles show levels of skills, interests to subjects, and on the other counter there are markers of social and behavioral types, uh, markers of leaders also. Uh, are presented. Uh, so uh, this graph 
above gives a complete description of the student composition of the groups, uh, make it possible to analyze the optimal distribution of students into groups. On this slide, we can see uh, how uh, we can create a model of real educational process. We have only grades given by a student in a group and taking into account and impact of teacher and mentor. Uh, so how we can make assessments of students' own work, teachers' and mentors' contribution into the educational process and its results? Uh, the answer is that we can obtain the model which matches the real data to estimate its parameters and to generate students' grade series student grades under influence of group members and teacher, and the comparison of the simulated data with the real ones allows to select students' own work results, teachers' and mentor impact. Uh, the statistical analysis of grades data allows to calculate the trend in education, correlation between students and group grades, which shows who negatively, who positively influences the learning outcomes in the group. Uh, also, we can study the optimal composition of groups by combining students with different interests and behavioral characteristics, then to test them by grades modeling. Each cycle of modeling, uh, the work of groups lead to a reassessment of the characteristics of students based on the obtained data. If the conclusion about the work of groups is not satisfactory, then uh, the following cycles of distribution of students into groups with modeling of individual and group work can be carried out until a satisfactory result will be obtained. So, in conclusion, I want to uh, say uh, that given article considers the problem of optimizing the composition of groups by setting weighted parameters depending on the, their priority, uh, the problem of finding optimal interaction between students and teachers in such a way that the learning process is progressive uh, is considered. By varying the parameters of the model and simulating it for each group of students, a multidimensional surface uh, can be obtained that displays the dependence of the trend of, of learning assessment. The grades obtained through the simulation can be compared with the actual assessments of the students and thus evaluate the expected learning outcomes with those actually achieved. This will allow objective assessment of the work of teachers and the teamwork of students. And uh, of course, this methodology of creating a group of people to work as a team is essential in recruiting in many areas of manufacturing and the gaming form of learning by creating games with distribution of roles in the group uh, simulates teamwork and can be used for, for both for learning and for training. Thank you for your attention.